Hi guys, welcome to my channel, The Hallowed Cauldron. Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Ganesh or Ganesha. Um, sometimes you, they will put Lord Ganesh or Lord Ganesha in front of it. I typically do not, no disrespect um, to that culture um, and to Ganesh himself. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you a little insight as to, I actually do uh, call on Ganesh for uh, help in certain spell work that I do and um, magical workings that I do. And I'm also going to talk about, again, um, I don't know when the last time I like went into detail, probably the last time I did a spell work, <laughs> um, and that is the chicory root. So the spell today is, um, someone has asked for it. And so, and one of the reasons I'm kind of cockeyed today on camera, because there's a table next to the table that I usually do my videos on, a small table, and that's where I'm going to do the work. And I'll, I'll be moving the camera here in a minute to show you that. So I'm sort of like off centered. I'm like blocking the entire little area over there. But here's the thing, don't get used to it because I am changing this whole room up. Um, I don't like it, so I'm going to redo it. I started a couple weekends ago with the porch, might have told you that. Um, pretty excited about that. It was uh, needed to be done. Gosh, it had needed to be done for years, and I finally got it done. Um, there's nothing on it right now, so that needs to be worked on. But next, I'm going to work on uh, the witch cottage here. I just like I don't I don't like it so anyway okay here we go all right so I was asked um, about this this work that I'm going to be showing you and why like they why do I use chicory root in like almost everything that I do that is magical like spell work magical and one of the reasons is because, and, and, and let me just say that, because first of all, chicory root is for, it's a road opener. It is for opening doors, clearing the path, removing the obstacles, um, all of that. Anything that stands in your way, that's what it's good for. And I make road opener candles. I make road opener oils. And like I said, I do a lot of work with um, the uh, the chicory root for that. Now there's other herbs, I couldn't tell you right off the top of my head, that help with road opening um, or removing obstacles, etc. One of the reasons why I work with chicory root as my number one source for removing obstacles, uh, years ago I was introduced to it and I do what I always do when I am exposed to something new. I feel it, I smell it, I hold it, close my eyes, see you know if I'm connecting with it or whatever. And when I did that, I poured a little bit into the bowl into a bowl and just you know I wanted to have my hands in it. it smells like coffee, looks like coffee. And back in the depression, um, they used chicory root as a substitute for coffee because I couldn't afford coffee and I don't even know if coffee was available then or not. But anyway, that's what they used. And um, but so it does look like coffee gr gr coffee grounds and um, and it smells like coffee. And so I had poured a little bit in the bowl and because someone had said you should try this. And so I just, you know, was running my fingers through it and just kind of, you know, meditating with it a little bit. So I was trying to connect with it and see if I had it you know, anything going on. And I'm here to tell you that it was like an old friend. It was like meeting up with a fr like an old friend. Uh, the energy was, it wasn't like, wow, you know, it wasn't like that. It was like, hello, gosh, it's been so long. Like, it was like I knew this energy and uh, it felt, it wasn't like it just felt so powerful. It felt very familiar. It, it felt so familiar. And uh, so I decided I had never used it. So I decided to try it in a spell, see how it worked. And my spell went amazingly wonderful, right? So then I thought, oh, this chicory root is everything. Yeah, this is great. 
But me being who I am, I'm all about intention and I'm all about your words that you choose for your spell work and I'm all about your own internal powers. And, and how that comes about is through studying, doing research, practicing, uh, knowing your stuff, being adept at what you do. And not just because you read it in a book and you, you go and you do that thing. You know, it's, as you know, a lot of my stuff <clears throat> is quite out of the box, <laughs> as they say. Um, I don't want to do somebody else's spell. It's that simple. It, you know, I don't want to do it. Look, I, I, I think... You know, back in the day, Scott Cunningham was, uh, he was the bomb. Um, there are other m modern authors out there today that have uh, some spell books that they've written. And I think that those are great ideas. <laughs> you know, I, I look at them and I, and I go, hmm, how can I change that? <laughs> because... I'm not going to do somebody else's, I'm not going to do somebody else's spell. That's somebody else's spell. Um, that isn't mine, you know, and who knows where their mind was when they wrote that. And I always want, I always wonder, and I tell people this, I tell, I probably lose a lot of book sales for this reason. Um, and that is, I mean, how do you know that that author even did that spell? I mean, they're an author. That's what they do. They write books, they write things. And, you know, there's a book of a thousand spells. Well, I mean, perhaps they did a thousand spells, but did all those thousand spells work? And did they do all those thousand spells? And who did the spell? You know, was it like male? Was it female? Because those energies are different, right? They're a little bit different. Where was their mindset? Because their mindset might be different than your mindset. Um... You know, it's, it's just like, it's like with anything, color. Some people can look at a color and some might see a variation of the color. Oh, I see that as forest green. Oh, really? I see it as a little bit of teal green. I mean, you know, I'm just saying there's people's ideas, what they see, what they smell, what they sense. We're all different. So... Although I give kudos and praise to anyone that can write a book, because I certainly could not, <laughs> um, I just I just encourage people to use that as as an idea, and then get out of the box and do your own thing, because it is all about you to begin with. So for me, using the chicory root, and why do you use chicory root for everything? Here's why: it's simple. It's very simple. The reason why is because I've worked with chicory root enough to know that for me, for me, it works exceptionally well in removing obstacles that are in the way, in opening doors so that you can move forward, okay? If you didn't need to remove an obstacle, you wouldn't need to do a spell. It's that simple. You know, I mean, why would you do a spell if the door's already open to open the door? I mean, so when you're having difficulties um, or, or with anything, you know, like, um, gee, there's a promotion coming up at work. These are all things I've talked about in the past. So for those of you who followed me, I thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you so much for doing that. But for those of you that are new, <laughs> um, it's like with prosperity or, you know, let's just say there's, there's a promotion at work and, and you are like a go-getter. You, you work, you're self-motivated, you're driven, you're all the things and there's a promotion and, uh, but somebody else is up for the promotion as well. They're not quite as driven as you are. And you know that, you know, by right, gosh, you know, you, you do maybe just a little bit more than that person. You're a little more driven and a little more self-motivated than that person. And so maybe you do, a, you do a spell. Well, the thing is, I'm going to add chicory root to mine because what that does is it removes any obstacles 
for my boss, for whoever's going to give the promotions out, if I have an obstacle that that needs to be removed that they aren't seeing, I want them to see clearly what it is that I have contributed, then I open the door so that I may move forward with clarity into that position and no harm, just right timing, uh, meant to be kind of thing towards anybody else, even the other person that is up for the promotion. Um, just because two people or three people are up for promotion and you get it doesn't mean that you caused that person any harm kind of thing. All you did was open the door of clarity, maybe. I'm just, I'm just throwing this out. Open the door of clarity so that, uh, you know, or so that the boss can see clearly. So that there's nothing standing in your path to get that job kind of thing but not naming names and not saying because I deserve it because blah, blah, blah. Um, Cause we don't want to, you know, we don't want to, for every action that you do, there's going to be a reaction and it's going to affect cause and effect. It's going to affect somebody else by you getting the promotion. That person doesn't get the promotion. And you know what? Maybe they needed the money just a little bit more than you, but guess what? Then maybe they should have worked hard, as hard as you did. <laughs> I know I'm going to get bashed for this, but I'm just saying that um, when there's more than one person that is up for it and that is interested in it, somebody's going to get somebody's going to get it, and somebody is not going to get it. That's how life is. And for you to open up a doorway and say, "I'm I'm clearing all the obstacles out of my way so that I can have a clear vision of the path." that it's going to take for me to get there, then I don't see why not. So, and that might be a bad example um, using that, but it's just what came to my mind. So um, the other thing is I work with Ganesh for, uh, because Ganesh is a uh, remover of obstacles. And so I want to talk a little bit about, because, you know, being um, involved in, as a witch um, label, <laughs> um, why would I use Ganesh when Ganesh is actually of the Hindu pantheon? Um, and but I I did some work. Um, this goes way 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 back, so far back that I'm not going to tell you how far back. I will just say right out of high school. <laughs> um, we had a college in my town that used to offer night classes um, that weren't college credit classes they were just like for fun they had i think they had an art class and they might have had a gardening class or whatever well they had a yoga class and i was really interested in yoga so i took the yoga class and his name and he was from india and i want to tell everybody that he looked you know he reminded me so much of gandhi because he was just this little slight man and he was balding and he had the little round glasses and sometimes he just wore regular clothes but more often than not he, he wore his little whatever it's called um his clothing his traditional clothing that he wore and um oh, he was just a great great teacher master um he taught us more if you were listening he learned a lot more than just a yoga pose for sure for sure i learned a lot from him and um, that was the first time I ever heard about um, Ganesh. And so I, you know, even back then, I mean, I didn't have access to a lot, but I do remember him speaking about Ganesh and telling us a little story about Ganesh and um, that Ganesh was a remover of obstacles. And so when I started this journey, my, you know, my witchcraft journey, whatever, um, close to 40 years ago, it, um, it, it resonated with me again on a different level than, than say the Greek pantheon or the Egyptian pantheon or whatever. Um, and so I think that with, 
a lot of times in witchcraft, I notice that people work with the archangels or they work with the saints. A lot of your root workers especially do. And I do work with roots. I'm not a root worker, but I'm, I'm trying to, um, I've been studying now for a few years, a couple years, uh, heavily, more heavy, more heavy. Is that a word? More heavy. <laughs> um, and uh, really trying to um, insert myself into that uh, root working and they do work with saints and stuff but that isn't my calling so um so i would never be considered i don't think my own personal opinion i would never be considered um an actual root worker it would be someone who works with roots <laughs> i guess um so anyway uh, i got introduced that's how i got introduced to the um chicory root was through the, uh, my interest in, in root work and stuff. So, um, okay. So, Ganesha, um, he, he's considered, a, I'm going to look at my notes so that I, I don't forget because the work that I'm going to show you today is for someone and they kind of wanted to hear this little story. So, I'm going to give you the story and then we're going to go over and I'm going to show you um, how I'm going to do the spell. However, I am not going to tell, you know, the only thing I'm going to tell you is that I'm using um, Ganesh and Road Opener as the main ingredients of the spell work. And so the spell is about opening the doors and, and opening the path and um, removing obstacles. And that's what I'm going to tell you. So you, I'm not going to tell you my words or anything like that. You should come up with your own. Truly, you should. Okay, so... Um, here is the story of, that I remember my teacher uh, telling about the story of Ganesh. So Ganesha is, it's a, like a human body with an elephant head and you know, how, how it came to be. All right. So Ganesh is the son of Shiva and uh, Parvati, if I'm saying her name, her name right, um, I think it's Parvati, um, and, but, but not as one would think, okay, not as one would think, so he was not born physically, all right, so, uh, Parvati and, and uh, Shiva, there wasn't a thing, you know, and a, a consummation and, and Ganesh was born. That isn't how it worked. <clears throat> Parvati um, was, became very lonely. Uh, Shiva was gone a lot and she became very lonely. And, um, and because of that, I want to say, you know, probably she was probably a little depressed. And so she lacked in personal hygiene. She lacked in personal hygiene. So she was so lonely, but so she decided to create a son. And she used, she formed Ganesh out of the accumulation of dirt and stuff from her own body. That's how, and you know, mud and dirt, and then dirt and stuff from her own body. She formed him into a human-like, um, for lack of better words, uh, form. Um, and so he was born and, and she was thrilled. She was so delighted. She adored Ganesh. She just simply adored him. And um, one day <clears throat> she decides that she's going to take a bath. She decides she's going to take a bath and Shiva has been gone. Well, she tells Ganesh to watch the door. I'm, I'm taking a bath. Make sure, you know, watch the door. Don't let anyone in. Well, when Shiva gets home, uh, Ganesh doesn't let him in. No, no. And uh, Shiva didn't realize at the time that Ganesh was indeed his son because uh, Parvati had uh, created him, had formed him. So Shiva got really mad because Ganesh was not letting him in. And so Shiva cut off his head. Cut off 
Ganesha's head. And when uh, Parvati get you know finds out, she is devastated. I mean, she is beyond devastation. She's she mourns and she she's just crazy with with devastation. So Shiva feels so bad. So he goes out and he decides he's going to kill the first animal that he comes in contact with. Happened to be an elephant. So he killed an elephant. And he cut the head off of the elephant and he put the uh, elephant's head on Ganesha, on Ganesha's body. And that is how Ganesha is seen today. And that is how Ganesha is, um, is worshipped um, as an elephant body, or I'm sorry, human body, and this um, elephant head. Now, um, I'm going to put you on, on pause, and we're going to go over to the other table so I can show you some things. Hang on. Okay, so before we get over there, I'm going to start here because... My chair won't fit over there, so it's going to be kind of awkward. So I'm going to show you this while I'm talking, okay? So there is Ganesh. So you can see the, uh, pull it back a little bit. You can see that he has the elephant head, uh, arms. He's got regular human body. Now he is depicted in many different ways holding different things, doing different things, and each one of those things means something different. So uh, I'm going to let you look at this while I read, um, it's Ganesha, while I read this so that you can kind of get an idea. I hope you can see that. Okay. So, um, all right. So Shiva's, I'm sorry, Ganesha's head, his head, what it, uh, symbolizes is soul and wisdom soul and wisdom and his human body symbolizes his earthly existence his big belly because he's got a big belly that is the symbolism is um it is created universe, and it is the ability to digest all of life, good and bad. His big old ears, that's so that he can listen and listen to your, your prayers, listen to your desires, your wishes. Um... This one, sitting on a lotus, the lotus represents, um, sorry, I'm moving around, represents spirituality and fulfillment of soul, like blooming into the light. And if you look closely, it's really, really hard to see in this, this picture. I don't even know if you can see it, but you know, he has two tusks, but one of the tusks is broken. One of the tusks is broken and some say it was broken so that he could, he used it to write sacred texts um, and that it was a sign of self-sacrifice and dedication. Um, and then in other books that I've read, it says that the two tusks, one represents um, wisdom and the other one represented emotion. And the one that is broken is the one that represented emotion. And it means that one must conquer emotions with wisdom to attain perfection. I love that. Um, and then you see him, he's sitting on, and this is, this is depicted through a lot of um, his images, etc. Now, a statue 
you might see him sitting on a mouse or there's going to be a mouse present. The mouse is really important. And on this one, see him standing on the mouse, okay? So what the mouse is, it's called a Vahana. And that's the vehicle in which he rides on. And it helps him to remain humble and to see the worthiness in all things, whether it be large or small. Um, and one of the things about um, mice is that they chew through barriers. And so the mouse helps Ganesh chew through and, and open the doors as well, uh, clears the pathways. Um, but it's also, the mouse also represents driven by ego. And um, so Ganesh controls that he controls the mouse and because uh, it wouldn't take much right for him to squish that mouse so he controls the mouse and uh, and where that mouse is going so he the mouse is a reminder for him to stay um clear of ego and um you know to see the worthiness in all things um so uh, you know, like I said, Ganesh is the, um, he's worshipped for, as the remover of obstacles, because an elephant walks through woods, usually the woods are very thick, but he's able to clear away the path and makes a path for others to follow. So he's clearing obstacles so that we can move forward in life so i love that so this little um this image you're going to want an image or like i said an image a little uh, trinket a statue something that is representative of ganesh and most times you actually want it to be ganesh you don't want to just um i mean it could be a stone if you know how to paint you know or um it could be anything like that, but you definitely want something that represents Ganesh, okay? All right, now put you on pause and we'll go over to, this, to the table. Okay, now this is probably going to be really awkward. You know, I don't have a, um, like a camera with a tripod or any kind of thing like that. <laughs> I use my computer, so I'm just lighting some incense here. Okay. Om Gan Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gan Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gan Ganapataye Namaha. So I'm just going to light the incense. Um, I'm going to use my road opener oil. And I'm using, um, let me give it a, look at this one leaks. I'm going to use my orange candle. And I'm bringing the energy in. So I am going to dress my candle towards me. I always get the wick and I always get the bottom. And I'm bringing the energy in to the candle. My candle I have already inscribed for my client all over. This is the statue I was telling you about of Ganesha. Um, let me see. It's lava stone. And here you can kind of see one of the tusks is broken. The 
This is the brass, little brass ganache I have. I keep it, these, these two I keep in my windowsill in the kitchen. Here's the quartz, I don't know if you can see it. Road opener candle that I made. This is a Ganesh candle. I'm not going to light that one. My working candle, what I call my working candle, right in front of the statue. I'm just going to melt a little puddle of wax. Um, by the way, I have cleansed my tray. I scrape, I use it all the time. I scrape the wax off of it. It's very, 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 very easy to do. And um, I don't like candle holders. And um, and then I give it a wash with Florida water. Om Gam Namapataye Namaha. Om Gam. Om Gam. Okay, Om. I'll remove that once it quits simmering. Here's my chicory root. Looks like coffee. A little around my candle. Whoa. That is not good. And I'm just sprinkling it around Ganesh. I'll be giving that to my person for them to do whatever they need to do on that. And that's it. I'm just going to uh, let it burn out and then it will be done. Um, they will get the large candle and um, it's right over there. See my messy. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. I know my videos tend to be a little long and I apologize, but 
For me, it is so important to know the whys of something. I'm not one that can just say, oh, that sounds like fun, let me do it. I want to know why, you know. Um, I want to know how it works and why it works and make sure that um, it's all done as best I can to my intentions. And um, so if I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be explaining to you as I go. So that's the way that works. All right, everyone, um, I will see you next week and uh, happy spring equinox. Yippee. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, happy spring equinox. Ostara, if you uh, follow the wheel and you celebrate, um, it is the spring equinox. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's a beautiful day out today here as was yesterday and uh i'm gonna go outside now and do some gardening all right see you guys bye love you thanks for watching